want to close by two things. One by saying to you that how can you love someone unless you know them? And therefore, my brothers and sisters, make effort to know Allah. And what is the best way of knowing Allah? The best way of knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to read Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's introduction about himself. Because nobody can describe Allah better than Allah describes himself. The word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most powerful word. There is no word which is more powerful than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's word. And therefore, read what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about himself in the Quran and reflect on every single word of what you are reading. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum La ta'akuduhu sinatun wa la naum Lahu ma fi s-samawati wa ma fi l-ard Man dha al-ladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi-idhni Ya'alamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum وَلَا يُعِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَاءُ وَسِعَا كُرُسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلَا يَعُودُهُ عِفْزُهُمَا وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا This is Allah. Reflect on every word of what He said. And then that tomorrow, which is sure, will become real. Today, why do we plan for a tomorrow which never comes? Because that is the tomorrow we talk about all the time. And the more you talk about something, the more that thing becomes real. And why is it that even though it is our yaqeen, even though it is our iman, that there is a tomorrow which is definite, which is the yawmul akhirah, and which is the jannah, which comes after that inshallah. Why is it that we still don't work for it even though we know this? Because we don't talk about it. 